Arika Johnson. Just now. Shared with public. Back to the Future Part 6, Times Reckoning. Chapter 1, Unexpected Reunion. Hill Valley, 2025. Life had returned to its peaceful norm for Marty McFly and his family. Marty was working in his auto repair shop, and his children, Alex and Sophie, were thriving in school. The memories of their recent time-traveling adventures had started to fade into a comfortable nostalgia. One afternoon, while Marty was working on a classic car, a sudden flash of light lit up the garage. Marty turned, expecting to see Doc Brown, but instead, a young woman with striking blue eyes and a confident stance stood before him. Marty McFly, she asked, though it seemed more a statement than a question. Yeah, that's me. And you are. My name's Amelia. I'm from the year 2300. We need your help. Again. Chapter 2, The Future Beckons. Amelia explained that she was a time traveler and a historian from the future. The timeline had been disrupted once more, but this time, the stakes were even higher. Temporal rifts were opening up, causing historical events to collapse into chaos. Marty sighed. Why does it always have to be time travel? Jennifer, who had joined them, put a comforting hand on his shoulder. Because you're good at it, she said with a smile. With a reluctant nod, Marty agreed to help. Amelia led him outside to reveal a new and improved time machine, a sleek, silver vehicle that looked like a hybrid of the DeLorean and advanced futuristic technology. Where's Doc? Marty asked. Already in 2300, trying to stabilize things, Amelia replied. We need to get there as soon as possible. Chapter 3, The Future Awaits. The trip to 2300 was breathtaking. Hill Valley had evolved into a sprawling metropolis, with towering skyscrapers, floating platforms, and advanced technology everywhere. But amidst the marvels were signs of the temporal disruptions, people frozen in time, buildings flickering in and out of existence, and a sense of instability that was palpable. They found Doc in a high-tech laboratory, working furiously on a device that looked like a fusion of old and new technologies. Marty. Amelia. Thank goodness you're here, Doc exclaimed, barely looking up from his work. We've got a serious problem. Time itself is unraveling. Chapter 4. The Source of the Disruption. Doc explained that the temporal rifts were being caused by an ancient artifact known as the Chrono Crystal. The crystal had been discovered by a rogue faction known as the Temporal Dominion, who were using its power to manipulate history for their own gain. The Chrono Crystal is incredibly powerful, Doc said. It can reshape time, but in the wrong hands, it's catastrophic. Chapter 5, Assembling the Team They knew they couldn't tackle the Temporal Dominion alone. They needed a team. Marty and Doc, along with Amelia, traveled to various points in time to recruit allies. First, they went to the Renaissance and enlisted Leonardo da Vinci, who was fascinated by the concept of time travel and eager to help. Next, they visited ancient China, where they convinced the legendary strategist Sun Tzu to join their cause. Finally, they traveled to the 1960s and persuaded Catherine Johnson, a brilliant mathematician and space scientist, to lend her expertise. Chapter 6 the Temporal Dominion. The team, now assembled, returned to 2300 to face the Temporal Dominion. The Dominion's headquarters was a heavily fortified structure at the center of the city, pulsating with the power of the Chrono Crystal. As they infiltrated the headquarters, they faced numerous challenges, advanced security systems, Dominion guards, and the very fabric of time itself fighting against them. Leonardo used his inventive mind to disable traps, Sun Tzu applied his strategic genius to outmaneuver their enemies, and Catherine's mathematical skills helped them navigate the complex temporal anomalies. Chapter 7 Confronting the Leader At the heart of the Dominion's headquarters, they finally confronted the leader, a man named Victor Kronos. He was charismatic and ruthless, driven by a vision of a perfect future that he would control. You're meddling with forces you don't understand, Doc warned him. I understand them perfectly, Victor replied coldly. I'm reshaping the world for the better. By destroying it. Marty retorted. You're tearing time apart. Chapter 8. The Final Battle. A fierce battle ensued. 
Victor wielded the power of the Chrono Crystal, creating temporal distortions that threatened to overwhelm them. But the team worked together, using their unique skills to counter his attacks. Marty and Doc managed to get close to the Chrono Crystal. With Catherine's calculations, they devised a way to neutralize its power without causing further damage to the timeline. In a daring move, Marty managed to place the neutralizing device on the crystal. A blinding light filled the room as the crystal's power was contained, and the temporal rifts began to close. Chapter 9 Restoring the Timeline With the Chrono Crystal neutralized, Victor was defeated. The temporal rifts sealed, and the timeline began to stabilize. People and events returned to their proper places, and the sense of chaos lifted. The team returned to Doc's lab, exhausted but victorious. Amelia smiled at Marty and document who did it. We all did. Doc looked at the now inert chrono crystal. Time is a delicate thing. We must protect it, not control it. Chapter 10, A New Dawn. Marty and Doc returned to 2025, where their families were waiting for them. Hill Valley was peaceful once more, and the future, while uncertain, was a place of hope and possibility. As they watched the sunset, Marty turned to document think we'll ever get a break. Doc chuckled. Maybe. But until then, we'll keep doing what we do best. Marty nodded, a smile spreading across his face. To the future, document wherever it takes us. Title card, Back to the Future Part 6, Times Reckoning. End credits roll. Cue iconic theme music. Like. Comment. Share.